Hey everyone, this is Scott from Forgot to Grow Up. Welcome to our Living With Yourself Season 1 Thoughts video. I just finished watching the latest Netflix original series starring two Paul Rudds, and I'm just going to be sharing my general thoughts, and I'm going to try to avoid any spoilers uh, for those of you who haven't seen the series yet. But yes, this is the latest Netflix series. We have Paul Rudd, and at the beginning of the series, he's just he's not exactly happy with his life, and then he is uh, referred to by a friend to go to this spa where he's where they say they're gonna rejuvenate him and somehow he ends up with a double uh, and then the series kind of progresses through the trolls that kind of arise from having a clone of yourself i don't think saying a clone is any kind of um spoiler for it you find that on the first episode um but yeah so this show like just the trailer alone had caught my eye i love the idea of having to Paul Rudd's. Paul Rudd's great. I like his antics. If you have his own antics versus his own antics, that sounds even great. So I was immediately pretty on board for it. And as soon as you start off the first episode, it caught me right away. They lead you in in a way where it's like almost a mystery at first. And that's what I really like about this show is uh, it did a great job of kind of balancing these different elements of some humor, a little bit of a mystery, some drama. And I thought a really great job of kind of balancing them all, never feeling like one or the other necessarily, just kind of feeling like a story we were being told about this guy in this, or these two guys in this chapter in their life and how they're dealing with this stuff. So yeah, I really, really enjoyed Paul Rudd's performance, but particularly as these two versions of the same character um, and just like getting this kind of new versus old self and what's your true self and who what makes your whole life and all these different kind of metaphysical and psychological type questions that they kind of deal with in kind of a I don't want to say light way but in a kind of enjoyable not too deep kind of way where these guys are kind of run into these situations because what there's two of them what do you do about this scenario so I thought it was really really interesting and really well done and unique um, storytelling they used for this we have a they really utilize the fact that they do have multiple characters and they do kind of show us the perspective of these different characters you know going through their life and how we kind of end up in these different scenarios so i kind of really like that we got different points of views in it and i thought it was just a really unique way of you know telling the story of these characters um but yeah so like i said before i thought it had a great balance of humor if you got paul rudd kind of being his typical kind of charm is funny, you know, kind of, uh, I don't know the best way to put it, kind of everyday guy who kind of gets put upon sometimes. And I just really like that kind of sarcastic balance of his humor. So I thought it was a really great job in this. Uh, and again, balancing that with the, dr the drama of this, um, you know, <clears throat> the troubles that arise with having a double of yourself and trying to either keep that secret or not um so yeah that was just really interesting and it was nice and short each episode was only about a half hour long and it's only about eight episodes it's only not about eight it is eight episodes long so it's very short about four hours in total to watch so that was nice to kind of breeze through compared to some netflix <laughs> first seasons where it's 13 hours of you know hour yeah, 13 of hour long episodes so it was nice that this one was a little more contained it did i feel when I first saw that it was, you know, only four hours in total, I was like, is this just a, like a movie that they couldn't really edit down too much? But once you get into their unique storytelling and start watching these episodes, you see why if being a TV show fit this a lot more as a movie, you wouldn't have been able to tell like the different perspective as easily. That would have been a lot more challenging. Whereas this one, we've got a couple episodes where you follow a certain character and another one where you kind of see perspective of the other character over that same period so I just really enjoyed that kind of storytelling it used that method it used for story, it's telling its story and I thought it kind of suited its short episode and short season nature speaking of season it's hard to say whether we're going to be getting another season of this show or not you never know with Netflix and it's the way it ends off is in, in a way that I could be like okay yeah we got one season but I could also see where we could get another season from this. So that was overall, I just really enjoyed this show. It gave me this kind of weird balance of feelings between being like, oh, am I the best version of myself? Am I the old one or the new version? Huh. So I really enjoyed that this show kind of be able to bring up these thoughts by showing you these kind of everyday scenarios and kind of how two different versions of yourself might 
play out in those things. So I just thought it was really great at kind of evoking these kind of thoughts about making me think about my own life. I don't know about everybody else watching it, but I thought that was interesting that it was able to bring up those thoughts of kind of me comparing myself to the main character uh, or the two main characters. Um, so I thought that was just was really great. Not all shows can make you kind of connect that way. It's particularly in such a short amount of time, but I thought they did a great job, particularly Paul Rudd does a really great job of making you feel for him, feel for this everyday guy who's kind of just in a rut almost and ready to do anything to kind of get over it and uh, yeah and that's kind of where you go so I really enjoy that you I connected to it and it did a great job of kind of being connectable um but yeah that's pretty much all my thoughts on this show I would definitely recommend it to anybody who checked out the trailers and was a little curious if you're up for just a kind of um interesting kind of sh like I said interesting show of a balance between the humor and uh, drama aspects with a little bit of a mystery in there and the, you know, the suspense of finding out what are these two gonna, what's gonna end up ha playing out with these two characters and everybody in their lives connected to it. So yes, I just, I would definitely recommend this to pretty much anybody. I can't see a reason why you, you might not enjoy this. The, the certain elements of it that would normally maybe put off people, the like kind of sci-fi element of there being a clone isn't really much of a basis other than the fact that that's the reason why there's two Paul Rudds. So it's not heavily, it's not like they're, you know, taking down some cloning operation or something like that. It is, it is just a kind of a drama with the premise being there's two versions of a, of a character. So yeah, I would definitely recommend this. If you've got Netflix, be sure to check it out. It is a really short little thing. If you don't, if it doesn't catch your interest in the first episode, which is only 27 minutes, I believe, then yeah, you don't waste your time with the rest of it. But I think Anybody who watches the first episode will definitely check out the rest of the season and see how it ends up with these two Paul Rudds. But yes, that's all my thoughts on the first season of Living With Yourself. Be sure to let me know in the comments below if you're planning on checking it out on Netflix and if you have already checked it out, what you thought of it. Thanks again for joining me today, though. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and have a good one.